So here we are on our third and final video and we're just going to tie up loose ends here and show you the process of completing everything, getting all the insulation put in. We'll get the drywall installed, get it mudded, taped, and sanded down and painted. There's not a whole lot to describe here, well, so we'll just uh, fast forward and you can watch the action. tip for you on cutting insulation. I put a board down so I have a nice hard surface to cut against and then I use a straight edge, a nice firm one to press down real hard on the insulation and then you can just use a regular knife to uh, cut through there. But once they're squished together it's really easy to cut straight across. For stapling here, what I tend to do is stuff all the insulation up at once and then go back through and staple and I will fold the two sides together in the center and then staple down through both of them at once. Safe staples that way and it just makes the process go quicker. Some more tips for you here. Drywall is pretty easy to cut. All you have to do is cut one side of it. I'm marking it with a T-square here and I'm going to cut straight down through. And once you get the one side scored, you can just snap the piece down that line and then cut the other side. It goes real quick and easy that way. And of course you want to stagger them as you put them on the wall. Uh, it just kind of worked out that way for me. The hard part is getting it lifted up by yourself but we make do and get it in place. couple more tips, the drywall on the outside there, if you notice there's little dots and lines, you can use those to guide where the 2x4s are. So if you get the first screw started there, you can just go up the same spot, 
the same line and you'll know you hit the stud. Makes it really easy. And as you're putting the screws in, you want to make sure they're countersunk a little bit so that when you put the mud coat on, it'll just cover that screw and you won't be able to see the screw sticking out. Um, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is leaving that screw sticking out a little bit. And uh, you really can't hide that with any amount of paint. So we'll slow down a little bit for this process here. What I am doing is fixing the holes in the drywall and there's actually a pretty good trick you can use for this. And what you want to do is get a piece of scrap drywall and then cut on the one side the hole to uh, fit that. So I'm drawing a little box for it and I'm going to cut the backer and then I'm going to peel back the drywall but leave the paper end on the other side so it's kind of like a flap sticking out. So you end up with a little plug. Now that plug's going to sit in there and then I'm going to cut around the outside so that the paper will fit in flush. So I'm going to make that hole, pull that paper away, and then my little plug with the papers on the side of it is going to fit right in that hole and I'll be able to mud the whole thing down. You'll have a nice smooth solid finish and that plug will be supported by the paper that's still there. So you'll have a really good solid patch. Now for the other one, I'm going to have to make the hole a little bit bigger and do the same thing. Just because it's more surface area, there's a big dent there from uh, the pry bar I was using. But the process is the same. I'm going to mark it out, leave the flaps, and then stick that plug up in there. Once the plug fits, I can use the flaps to mark on the wall where I need to cut the paper away. And then the whole thing can go against the wall and get mudded right in place.
here we are on the first coat of mud and it's just important to get this as smooth as you can but still cover everything um, it's best to do a couple of thin coats so it dries better you don't want to glop it all on and leave it thick so I'm going to do a nice couple of thin coats and then we'll come back and do another coat later on um, I'm going to put mud behind my flaps on my patches and then mud over them so they're sealed and we're just going to cover all the screws over another tip for you if you take your blade there and slide it across the wall over the screws you can tell if there's a screw raised because it'll catch on that screw as you're going across and then you'll want to finish taking those screws in far enough so they're not going to catch Mud has dried and we can begin sanding. Patches are looking okay. We're going to have to do a couple of coats on that to get it down where it needs to be. So we can hit this with sand, sandpaper, get out these lumps, and then we can do the second coat. Um, if you're extremely good at mudding and drywall, you can get away with often two coats. Um, I am not. So it's going to take me two or three coats to get it the way I want it. But just keep trying, just keep working at it, and you'll eventually get it. 